Hey everyone, welcome to our live class for this month. I'm teacher Tiffany and I am so excited to see all of you here. Now, you know that each month we come together on YouTube live and we study a brand new lesson. Now, I'm so excited about our lesson today, but you know we always start off with saying hello and we do our roll call. So, in the comment section everyone, I want you to say hello and tell us what country you are watching from. So here we go. Yes, so many of you all are here. I'm gonna go all the way back to the top. Again, say hello and say where you are watching from. Here we go. Yes, I see a lot of you. Igor, hello from Brazil. Good to see you, Igor. Nice to see you. Yes, another Andressa from Brazil. Good to see you. All right, again, guys, as you're coming in, Say hello and tell us where you are watching from. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. I see you all saying hello. All right. Myanmar, nice to see you. Good to see you. I think this is the first time I've seen anyone join us from Myanmar. Nice to see you. All right. Here we go. Again, tell us where you are watching from. Yes, we have Guatemala. Good to see you. India, so good to see you. Madrid, yes, I visited Madrid when I was in high school. Beautiful country, beautiful place. We have Chile, yes, good to see you, nice. Brazil, again, very nice. Dominican Republic, very nice. Mexico, yes, Mexico. Colombia, Istanbul, wow, good to see you. Sudan, Georgia, yes. Colombia again, Turkey, nice to see you all. Again, we're doing our roll call, so as you come in, say hello and tell us what country you are watching from. Colombia again, Brazil again, yes, the Ivory Coast, beautiful countries. Turkey again, Gabon, very nice to see you all. Serbia, yes, beautiful. Mexico again, UAE, yes, very nice. Mexico again. Let's see again. Come in. Let's see. Crimea or Crimea. Nice to see you. France. Good to see you. Chicago. Shy town. Nice to see you here. Let's see. Dominican Republic again. Miami. Yes. I have some good friends who live in Miami. Somalia. What's up, Ali? Good to see you. Algeria. Morocco. Yes. Kazakhstan. Nice to see you. Costa Rica. Good to see you. China, yes, good to see you, Giovanni. Kosovo, nice to see you. Uganda, good. Iran, again, for those students just coming in, we're just doing our roll call. Come in, say hello, and tell us what country you are watching from. Remember, we are a big family all together, each month learning new things. The Congo, good to see you. I'll do a few more. Good to see you all. Sudan again, yes. All right, Brazil again. Good to see you, good to see you. I'm going to scroll down. Let's see. Some more people are coming in. Here we go. Yes, Ethiopia. Good to see you. Tunisia. Nice. Ukraine. Bangladesh. Yes, Belarus. Nice to see you. Peru. Sudan again. Yes. Hello, Solange. Good to see you. All right, Sudan. Then we have, let me scroll down a little bit more. Oh, yes. Poland, yes, good to see you from Poland, very nice. I'll do a few more and then I'll tell you a little bit about what we're going to learn today. Panama, Algeria, Ukraine, Venezuela, and we have, uh-oh, Honduras went away, here we go. And we have Honduras. You all are amazing and man, am I so honored that you guys decided to join me for today's English Live class. Now. You know, each month I come on here and I love spending time with you all. And today I'm going to teach you how to give an advanced level English response. Now, this is something I know that each of you wants to do. You want to speak English fluently, right? So let me ask you all this question in the comment section. If you are excited to learn how to finally give an English response that's advanced, like a native English speaker, I just want you to type yes, real quick. 
If you're excited to learn this simple method that will help you learn how to give an advanced level response like a native English speaker, just type yes in the comment section. If you're excited, if you're ready, and you're really looking forward to learning a lot, just type yes in the comment section. I see you guys still typing your countries. It's so good to see you all here. So I'm going to go right to our presentation for this evening. Now, again, if you're excited, just type yes. All right. Sana is excited. Yes, Sana. I hope that you learn a lot. Yes. Aureli's excited. Martha's excited. Scylla's excited. Amina's excited. You all are excited. And oh, am I excited to teach you all tonight? So you all know, let's jump right in. Here we go, guys. All right. So tonight again, how to give an advanced level English response. So here's the thing again, welcome to everyone. Now there's going to be three parts to this lesson tonight. I'm going to give you the basic explanation, breaking down exactly how to give an advanced level English response. And then for part two and part three, those two sections, I'm going to show you some example questions and show you how to answer the questions. All right. So you're going to learn a lot. I hope you have your notebooks and your pencils and that you are ready to study. Now, real quick, after the class, remember, I always teach a class, but after the class, I have a family meeting. Now, when I say family meeting, that meeting is via Zoom. That's right, live via Zoom. We can all see each other, but it's only for my academy students. So my academy students that are here, hey, our family meeting is happening right after this class. But if you're not a part of our family, remember all you have to do before this class is over, go to let's jump right in.com real simple. If you want to join our family and also join our meeting this evening, go to let's jump right in.com. I just typed it in the comment section. You guys can join us there. All right. So here we go. Now I'm following a lesson that comes from my ebook, how to pass IELTS speaking. So this exam is very important for many students, but part of the exam is to determine if a student or if an English learner is able to speak at the advanced level. So I'm going to give you some tricks that will help you pass this test and will also help you speak like a native English speaker. So here we go. Part one, an advanced level response focuses on responding to questions using three reasons, points, or opinions, and a personal story. So I want to pause really quickly because we've talked a lot about the importance of giving three reasons, three details, or three opinions. Now, if you're in my academy, you've heard me say this over and over again. And even my VIP students have heard me say this over and over again. So real quick, just to recap or review. So when someone asks you a question, you want to always remember the rule of three. So I'm going to ask you all a question and I want you to put your answer very quickly in the comment section. So here's the question. Uh, what's your favorite food really quickly? What's your favorite food? Now I'm going to let you write your favorite food really quickly. And then we're going to apply the three reasons. So really quickly in the comment section, as you guys are hearing me talk about uh, the recap from our previous lessons, again, giving three reasons, three opinions, or three details. So tell me what your favorite food is just really quickly. For example, you guys know that I love Indian food. You all know that I also love eating Mexican food. So what's your favorite food? Let me see. Somebody said something in Korean. And y'all say, oh, and oh, it went away. Hello. And y'all say, all right. Yes. I'm getting a lot of pizza. All right, people love pizza. Pizza is a very popular one. All right. Someone says spaghetti. All right. Porridge. Okay. Pasta. I think Christian, you're from Venezuela, right? All right. Good. Pizza. Fish. All right. Let's see. Uh, Nima, Nama says fish. Elisa says ice cream. Ice cream is good. Ice cream is good. All right. We have rice. We have pizza again. We have pasta from Nivea. All right. So, and this is, I think, Tajin or Tajin. All right. So we have a lot of different foods that we enjoy right now. Here's the thing I want you to do right now. Tell me three reasons why you like that food. Again, tell me three reasons. Again, we're reviewing really quickly. 
how to give an answer in English. Now, we haven't gotten to the advanced part just yet, but tell me three reasons why you like pizza. Why do you like pasta or why do you like rice? Just very quickly. For example, I really enjoy Indian food. So my three reasons. First, Indian food is very flavorful. Second, I like spicy food. And third, Indian food includes lots of vegetables. You see, very quickly, I gave three reasons. Very flavorful, a little spicy, and also it includes lots of vegetables, right? So again, this is the first step we're looking at. Give three reasons why you like the food that you wrote in the comment section. So I'm going to go to the comment section really quickly and let me see what you wrote. Okay, excellent. Fabiano says chocolate. It's easy to eat. It's delicious and it's not expensive. Excellent job, Fabian. Excellent job. All right. Give me some more again. Tell me three reasons. All right. Subo says simple, easy to make and tasty. Excellent job. You were able to organize your thoughts very quickly. I love it. All right. Here we go. Tunsi says because it's delicious, healthy and I think rich. Okay. Rich in flavor. All right. Good. Okay. Sana says delicious excuse me, spicy and healthy. Very good. All right. Let me see another person again. Three reasons why you like the food you enjoy. Spicy, juicy, and tasty Indian biryani. Woo. Yes. Indian biryani is so good. All right. Here we go. Let me get another student. Here we go. Na Natalie says, I love Mexican food because it's spicy. It includes vegetables and it's hot. Mm, good reasons. Very good reasons. All right. Nicole says pizza because of the cheese. It's hot. Ooh, and it's delicious. All right. I like that. I like that, Nicole. All right. Sylvia says, because it's a traditional dish in Panama, it's very delicious. And it's a celebration food. When you come together for a celebration, you eat this food. Good reasons. I like your reasons, guys. Excellent. Again, everybody write your reasons. This is great practice. All right. I'm going to do two more people. Here we go. Catherine says, ceviche. I like it because it tastes good. It's delicious and it's spicy. Very nice. All right. One more student. Let's do Jesus. Jesus says in Mexico, tacos, they are natural flavor, their variety, a uh, different variety of tacos and they're cheap. Yes. And tacos are very delicious. So excellent. So again, we all understand the first step to answering a question in English. You want to give three reasons, three points or three opinions. Now here's the next part. This is where it starts to get very interesting. When you want to give an advanced level English response, along with your three reasons, details, or points, you need to add a personal story. But again, as an English learner, sometimes it's tricky to know how to tell a story properly in English. So let's look at this little diagram right here. For a story, you must first organize the basic story, the basic idea, then the background information. Next, the characters or the people that are involved, the climax, the conclusion, and finally, the lesson learned or your thoughts after. So again, these are the most important parts of a story. So let me ask you all a question. What's your favorite movie? Anybody in the comment section real quick. Tell me what your favorite movie is. It can be anything but I want you to write what your favorite movie is. And we're going to look at, I'm going to pick one of those movies and we're going to try to break that movie apart and see the storyline and see if that movie matches this diagram that we have on the screen right now. So again, in the comment section, tell us what your favorite movie is. All right, here we go. I'm going to go to the comment section right now and let's see. What's your favorite movie? Tell me a movie you really enjoy, a movie you really like. Here we go. Oh, good one. All right, here we go. We have The Matrix. We have Fast and the Furious. We have Titanic. We have Iron Man. Very good. Oh, Pretty Woman was a good one. Yes. Jason Bourne, The Notebook. Oh, Abdullah. Abdullah, I love that movie. Well, okay, guys, I know... 
There are many other great movies, but I do love The Notebook. So since Abdullah, you picked it, I want to talk about that one, all right? So here's what I want us to do, all right? So we're going to go back to my screen. And again, we're looking at the movie The Notebook, a love story. Woo, an amazing movie. If you haven't seen it, it's really good, guys. So The Notebook is a love story. Now, what's the basic story? The basic story is there's a man and a woman and they're falling in love with each other, but they used to be friends and they used to date, but they had to break up and they come back together. So it's about their love story. All right. Now, background information. What's the background? Well, the background information is she's rich. He's not rich. And they had some issues in their relationship. All right. Now, what's the next part? Characters or people involved. So again, we have a rich family where the girl, you know, she's from that family. Then we have a young man who's poor. Then we have some of their friends around them. All right. The characters of the story. Now, what's the climax? The cl and I'm not going to tell you guys the movie. Don't worry. But there is a climax where there's this separation that happens and you're wondering, are they going to get back together? What's going to happen? So it's intriguing. It's engaging, right? Then the conclusion, you have to find out what happens at the end of the story. Now, again, I'm not going to tell you what happens, but you see there's this natural progression for a story and we like movies because they have good storylines. And the last thing being lesson learned. So from the movie, the notebook, I learned about true love and what it means to love someone through difficulties and always being there for them, right? I learned something from that movie. So when you're telling a story, again, part of an advanced level Eng English response is you give the three points, details, or opinions, and then you add your story. But your story must include all of the things that we saw in our diagram. So let's see an example question. Here we go, guys. Let's see an example question, all right? So Going to section number two for the example question. Here we go. Why do you think people like to travel to different places in their free time? Again, why do you think people like to travel to different places in their free time? So again, before we get to our story for this one, can you guys tell me, in your opinion, again, we're practicing now, give me three reasons. Why do you think people like to travel to different places in their free time? Three reasons very quickly in the comment section. Why do you think people like to travel in their free time? Diana, here's a virtual hug for you too. <laughs> All right. Again, why do you think people looking at the question? Why do you think people like to travel to different places in their free time? Remember the first part is always giving three details, opinions, or reasons. All right. Give me three reasons why people like to travel in their free time. All right. Let's see. Let's see. All right. I see some comments coming through, but remember you need to give three reasons. And again, I'm going to show you my example response, but I see you all answering. I want the three reasons though, but let's see some of the reasons you wrote. Um, here we go because it's not boring. Okay, good. Uh, to identify different rights, uh, races and peoples. Good. Different new places, get new emotions. Good to relax. Good. Learn new cultures. Excellent. Because they like to enjoy themselves and learn new things and have fun. Very good. Three reasons. Excellent. Paula said to relax. Good for recreation. Excellent. To meet other people and learn about other cultures. Excellent. I'm so glad you're enjoying Manuel. <laughs> All right. I think it's important to know people. Andres, good to see you. I just realized you're here. All right. Then to know new places. Good. Beatrice, nice to see you too. To learn about different cultures, to unwind, to meet new places or experience new places, becoming a cosmopolitan type person. Okay. All right. Good. Dark Ho. Hey, good to see you here. It's good to let your hair down, let your hair down. Good use to clean your mind or free your mind, clear your mind and organize your thoughts. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's see. Martine. I'm so happy to see you. You're a brand new member of my Academy. Welcome. Welcome. All right. And then someone else said, Ignacio said better than my real life. 
All right, so there are many reasons why people travel. Again, the first part of your answer is going to be giving the three reasons. Now we're moving to the story, all right? So it has to be a personal story. Again, this is when your advanced level response is being revealed. So let's look at me, my answer right here. So I started by doing what? Basic story, a hiking trip I took when I was in South Korea. Then background, it was a vacation trip with five of my friends. The characters or people involved, five of my friends. You see what's happening, right? It's important to organize your thoughts before you start the story, right? So I'm organizing my thoughts. What was the climax? We hiked one of the highest mountains in Korea. It is true. Now, don't worry. I'm going to tell you the story, but I'm showing you the organization of my thoughts. Okay. What was the conclusion? Beautiful mountains in South Korea and an amazing view. And finally, the lesson I learned or my thoughts after South Korea is a beautiful country. So again, I've organized my thoughts. I made sure that the story, my personal story in answer to this question also has each of the parts that we discussed earlier. So let's see the first part of my answer. Here we go with the three reasons. All right. So why do you think people like to travel to different places in their free time? I want you all to pay close attention to the way I give my answer, the first part of my answer. And again, guys, if you want to study with me, go to the academy. Don't miss our family meeting. All of this is in the academy, in the ebook, and everything. There's a course for it in the academy as well. All right, let's jump right in.com. Here we go. First part. In my opinion, there are three reasons why people like to travel to different places in their free time. The first reason, you see what's going on. The first reason is to experience and learn about new cultures. When people travel, they can learn a lot about the food in other countries. They can also learn new things about the clothing of different countries. All right, now the second reason. The second reason is that people are looking for a change of scenery. Many times people get tired of city life and want to take a break. In addition, many people want to see more nature. So you see what's happening. I'm giving my reasons, but you notice I'm giving some extra information, right? Now, all of that is explained in the ebook. You guys can click the link to get the ebook. But again, I'm still working on my three reasons first, and then I'm going to bring in my story. All right. Finally, the third reason is that people want to explore new places. Some people are very adventurous, so they want to see and experience new places. This also means that they like exciting things. These are the three reasons why I think people like to travel to different places in their free time. Of course, good answer. But how are we going to add my story into this answer to make it an advanced level response? Here we go. Personally, I also enjoy traveling to different places in my free time. You see what happened there, right? Now I'm connecting myself to the question and to the first part of my answer. I remember my first trip in South Korea. Five of my friends and I decided to go on a vacation trip together. We wanted to go camping and hiking. So we rented a van and went to one of South Korea's highest mountains. The mountain was beautiful. We spent one entire day hiking the mountain and it took us a total of seven hours. At the highest point, there were about 700 stairs to climb because it was too steep to climb without them. Oop, that should be T-O-O, -O, guys. The views at the top of the mountain were amazing. After this trip, my friends and I all agreed that South Korea is truly a beautiful country. Now, what do you notice? This is a long answer, right? Because it's an advanced English level response. Again, guys, remember the purpose of today's live is to help you give an advanced level response. Think about it. I know you all are intelligent. You guys can all give a beginner level response and I'm sure you can give an intermediate level response. But if you want to take your English to the next level, you have to understand this concept. Three reasons, three details or opinions, plus a personal story. 
So your answer is not going to be 30 seconds long. It's going to be longer. And this lesson is going to help you develop the skills you need to give a longer answer. All right. Now I want to ask you guys, let's see. Here's the question I have for you. Now, I gave a basic story again in answer to this question about a trip I had when I was in Korea, a hiking trip. Here's my question for you. What would your basic story be about, your personal story? Again, let's look at the question, all right? Again, what were we talking about? We're talking about, what were we talking about? Why do you think people like to travel to different places in their free time? So really quickly in the comment section, I just want you, you don't have to write your full story, but I want you to think very quickly about a trip that you took. So just in the comment sections, tell me which story would you tell? Very simply, I would tell the time I went to France. I would talk about my trip to Bermuda. I would talk about my trip to Mount Everest. All right. Whatever your story is again, talking about traveling to different places. So in the comment section, tell us what the title of your story would be. What's the title of your story? Here we go. All right. Uh, let me see. Tell me again, what story you'd want to tell that connects to traveling to a different place. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see. All right. I think Daisy says she would go to Londrina, Londrina Parana. Okay. All right, good. Again, in the comment section, y'all, Tell me what story you would like to tell. Just tell me the place that you visited. Maybe you want to talk about a time when you and your family went on a trip somewhere. All right. Zenob says my trip to the yellow sands. Ooh, sounds great. Here we go. Charlene says my story would be about a trip I took to England or took in England. Very nice. When you were living in England. All right, good. Then we have Christian says, my trip to Merida with some friends. Very nice. Beatrice says, when I went to Orlando to Disney. Very nice. Daisy, how are you? It's good to see you. I'm glad this class is helping you. Good to see you, Daisy. All right. Tana says, I will tell about my trip from the Bahamas when you went to the Bahamas. Very good. Again, put your ideas in the comment section, guys, because this is helping you make connections. Good job. Okay. Liliana says my trip to Ecuador to climb up two mountains. Ooh, very nice. Tunzi says when I went to Algeria, the Sahara, it was an amazing trip. Very nice. Sylvia says, I'll talk about when I was a missionary. Very nice in Nicaragua. Very nice. All right, here we go. Zinab says I would talk about my trip to Latakia. Very nice. Very nice. All right. You'd give your love story, but where'd you go for your love story? All right, here we go. Here we go. My trip to Tanger. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Trinidad says, I'd like to talk about my trip to Niagara Falls. You know, I actually would love to visit Niagara Falls. I've never been there before. All right. Very nice. Your trip to France. Very nice. All right. My last trip to Yemen. Nice, Khadija. Very good. Shame Shamay says, I still remember my trip to the countryside, which was amazing. Very good. Trip to Rio de Janeiro. Very good. Beach of Cartagena. Very good. The Bahamas. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Good. Very good. Trip to Japan. Very nice. All right. Let's see. Kelly says, I'll travel to London to see the love of my life. Very good guys. Excellent. So you're seeing what's happening, right? The concept of you answer the question with three reasons, details, or opinions, and then you give your personal story. And all of you have a story and you can connect it to your answer. And then suddenly your response becomes a little bit more advanced. Makes sense, right? Okay. So let's look at another question. All right. We're going to pay attention and look at another question. Here we go. All right. Section three, example question number two. What conflicts arise between a person's family and a person's friends? Again, what conflicts can arise between a person's family and a person's friends? So that's the question. What conflicts think about your family and your friends. And sometimes they butt 
heads. Butt heads means to be in conflict, right? So real quick in the comment section, tell me, give me some examples. Again, if you can give three examples, we're still working with three of some conflicts or issues that families can experience with the friends of their children, uh, parents uh, can experience with their friends' children. Think again, what conflicts can arise between a person's family and a person's friends, all right? This is a very advanced question, but I want you to think about your own life. Think about your friends and then think about your family. Sometimes your family and your friends, they don't really click, right? Sometimes they have issues. So what are some conflicts they can experience? Here we go. All right, Nicole says, sometimes cultural differences. Very true. All right, here we go. Uh, Luis says, maybe religious or money problems conflicts. Good, good example. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, the time you spend with them. Excellent example, Ravi. Excellent example. All right. Um, let me see. Ah, spending time playing games with your son. Very good example. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, no worries, Adriana. I'm so glad you were able to join us. We'll see you next time. All right. Uh, the weather was your conflict. Really? The weather. Maybe explain this a little bit more for us, Prince. Um, routine visits. Yes. You want to visit your friends a lot. And sometimes your family doesn't necessarily like that. All right, here we go. Uh, when the kids make the bed, when you forget to clean your room and when somebody lies, okay, three problems you experience in your family. That's true. But we're talking about between family and friends, right? That's true. That's very true. Uh, let's see. Borrowing money. Good example. You can lose the grind or you can lose. I don't understand lose the grind, but yes, borrowing money, taboo topics. Very true. Uh, places to go prejudice. Very good food, being lazy or even football teams. Okay. Bad influences and drugs preventing you from studying politics, their behavior. Very good. Bad influences. Um, let's see. My parents don't understand some attitudes that my friends have. Very good example. All right. Different views when it comes to religion, religious views. Good example. Very good example. All right. Yes. Cultural difference is very true. Lifestyle. Very true. Um, let me see. That's a trip your friend took. Oh, from the previous question. All right. Uh, let's see. Christy says conflicts like children, different cultures or pets. Very true. Um, let's see. Nicole says the family maybe doesn't like his or her friends because the religion is different and their behavior is different. Very good points. All right. Two more, two more lack of communication. Woo. Good example. Very good example. All right. And finally, Valeria, different preferences, opinions, and also different views on money. Excellent examples. You all excellent examples. So you can see that for the first part, you would be able to answer this question easily because you already have three ideas in your mind, right? Three examples. Now, again, for an advanced level English response, you must add the personal story, right? The personal story. So here we go right here. I'm going to give a story related to what's the basic story. My high school friends misunderstanding the background friends for years, but hard to communicate. Characters or people involved. Two of my friends. The climax. There was a big argument. Conclusion. We finally talked and mended our friendship. Lesson learned and thoughts after. Communication is key. So again, I have organized all the parts for my story and I need to tell my personal story, right? Now, first, let's look at my answer for the first part, all right? Conflicts can arise between a person's family and a person's friends. Now, again, as I mentioned before, advanced level responses are not short. So hang in there. All right, here we go. In my opinion, there are three major conflicts that can arise between a person's family or a person's friends. You see, I introduced the topic and what I'm going to say, right? Then I started. The first major conflict is not respecting personal space. Sometimes people put their belongings all over the place, which can bother other people. Also, some people always need to be physically close to other people, which can also bother others. So again, 
I gave my example and I supported it, all right? Okay, then the second major conflict is a lack of communication. Many times people have problems but refuse to talk about the problems. Instead, they give each other the silent treatment, which only makes the situations worse in the end. Now I've given my second example, right? Conflict, right? Third, finally, the major or the third major conflict occurs when people have different opinions regarding personalities, excuse me, regarding responsibilities or duties. Sometimes one person believes that the other person should support and be a listening ear all of the time, but the other person may not agree with this opinion. There are many other types of conflicts, but these are three of the major relationship conflicts. Now, this is an amazing answer, a great response, but we want to kind of level it up a little bit, right? We want to add a little bit by adding a personal story. Again, making it an advanced level response by connecting the answer to our lives, right? Our lives, like my life is connected to this question, all right? So I'm gonna show how that happens. Here we go. And again, you all, you're learning a lot in this live class. If you wanna learn more, get the ebook, the link's in the description, or you can join my academy and join our family, all right? So here we go. Now, what's the personal story I can tell related to this question, all right? So high school friends, here we go. I also personally experienced conflict one time with two of my friends. You notice the transition, right? I gave the three examples of conflicts, possible conflicts, right? Then I immediately said, I also experienced conflict. I'm connecting to the answer, right? And then I'm segueing or leading into my personal story. Again, advanced level responses include personal stories. Here we go. We had a big argument in our second year of high school. The conflict occurred because of a misunderstanding and a lack of communication. The three of us had been friends for years, but after the conflict, we stopped talking to each other. As time went by, we each moved to different states and it became harder to communicate with each other because of the distance. You see what's happening. I'm giving you all the background information. I gave you what the issue was, right? We had this argument and we separated, right? Now we need to look for the conclusion and the lesson learned. Here we go. But after two years of no talking, we finally contacted each other and talked about the situation. So we were eventually able to mend our friendship. The main thing I learned from this situation was that communication is key in all relationships. So you see what happened? I told the story about a time my friends and I had an issue. There was a break in our communication, right? And at the end I said, hey, I learned that communication is important. Communication is key. So real quick in the comment section, you all, I want you all to tell me, think about a story. Think about your life. Think about an experience you had where you had a conflict with your family member or with your friends in the comment section really quickly. Just tell us either the title or quickly what happened. A time when you maybe fought with your best friend or a time maybe when you didn't agree with your parents' decision when you were younger. In the comment section, let us know what personal story would you tell if you had to talk about conflicts between you and your friends or conflicts between you and your family members, all right? So in the comment section, tell us about a conflict you experienced. And again, as you're writing your stories, I want to remind you all, for the advanced level English response, the keys, two keys. First, you give your three reasons, details, opinions, or examples. Second, you connect them to a personal story and whoa, advanced level English response will be revealed, right? Okay, here we go. All right, Sammy, I love you too. <laughs> All right, here we go. PN says, my parents used to refuse my friends to come into my bedroom because they thought my friends had a bad influence on me. At the end, I lost my friendship with them. All right, I'm sorry to hear that, Sammy, I'm PN, but yes, good example of a story that connects to this topic. Excellent connection story, all right? Here we go, let's see another one. Uh, anybody else, again, I see PN P 
posted. I think you all are typing, but again, great job, PN. Excellent example of a story. Here we go. Tunzi says, I had a conflict with my brother because of his way of treating me. The way he treated you was wrong. Okay, good example. Sorry to hear that though. Marley said, my conflict was over different social classes. Ah, Amazonians. Okay, got you. All right, here we go. Yabel, my pleasure. It's always my pleasure to teach you all. All right, um, here we go. Uh, the live is on YouTube now, but once the class is over, this file, this video will be uploaded to the Academy. So it's going to be gone from YouTube, but if you're in my Academy, you can watch the replay. All right. So again, all you have to do to join is go to let's jump right in.com. All right. Good question. Christian says I received bad treatment from a friend and my family got angry with that person, but we fixed the issue. Good. Okay. Very good. Juan said I had a conflict with one of my best friends because he wanted me to leave my old girlfriend. Oh, okay, very serious conflict. All right, Dark Ho says, my mom took my phone away from me because I used to spend all day on the internet, okay? Good example. Javier says, I lost friends because they had bad influences on me. Mm-hmm, very good example. Emmanuel, thank you so much, I appreciate that. That's a nice compliment. Juliana says, when I most needed my best friend, she wasn't there for me. It was 10 years ago when my mom died. Ooh, yeah, that is a little bit of a difficult situation. Yes. Ludmi says, I was in a bad mood, so I was acting angry all day, and my family didn't know what was going on. Mmm, yes, okay. Uh, Roberto says, I'm still having a conflict with my brother. He sold my commercial property and used it and spent the whole profit, and he didn't give one penny to me. Ooh, yes, that is a serious conflict. Tana says, the time I argue with my parents because of bad influences. Y you all are giving excellent examples because even as I'm reading your short description of your stories, I'm interested already. And that's the key. When it comes to English fluency and answering like a native English speaker, you want to make sure to get the person who's listening interested. You want them to want to hear more. And that's also a good idea. Uh, good a uh, good way to see if you're actually getting fluent or not. So excellent examples, you all. Khadija says, conflicts between me and my friends about managing the time through the trip. Uh-huh, when you go on trips with your friends. Sylvia says, silence is uncomfortable with someone when you don't fix the conflicts. It's true. That's very true. All right. Sitol says, I lost my friends when I received Jesus Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Jesus is so amazing. He's, he's amazing, but I'm sorry to hear that. Um, let's see. Let's see. Here we go. I lost friends for bad influences. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom to see the new ones that came through. All right. Louise says, my friend's parents thought that I was a bad influence on him, and it was the opposite. At the end of the school year, I showed it with my good grades. Very true. All right. Maureen says, my parents always said that my friends disturbed me from doing my homework. Aha. Uh -huh. Very true. Okay. Carlos, thank you so much. I appreciate that compliment. All right, so again, you all, excellent examples, excellent personal stories that connect to the topic, to the question. So again, when you receive a question, when someone asks you a question, if you want to give an advanced level English response, remember, part, <laughs> remember, remember, part one is three reasons, three details, or three examples, and then you add on your personal story. All right, so before we bring our class to a close, I, I want to practice a little bit more. So I'm going to ask a few questions and we're just going to focus on the first part very quickly. All right. So here we go. Just a random question. What's your favorite thing to do in your free time? Again, here's the question. What's your favorite thing to do in your free time? So your answer. All right. Your answer needs to be one thing and then three reasons. For example, I really enjoy mm, drawing and then I'll give three reasons. I'm very creative. I love coloring and I also enjoy beautiful sceneries. So again, tell me what's your favorite thing to do in your free time and then give three reasons why connected. Again, we're doing the first part, right? Tell me the, f <laughs> somebody said sleep. Hey, you got to sleep sometimes. All right. Reading, sleep, all right, reading again, good, very good, all right, again, what's your favorite thing to do 
in your free time. Talk to me. What's your favorite thing to do in your free time? All right, we have gaming again, and then also add some reasons. Why do you enjoy that? Okay, so our watch is listening to the Quran. Okay, all right. So think about these things you enjoy doing. Watching movies. All right. Virtual hug again. Thank you so much, Diana. All right. Love to read. Nice. Learning Chinese. Very nice. Watching movies. Thinking a lot. Yes. Enjoy running. David, I like running too. Very nice. Listening to music. All right. We have watching movies. Reading books. Nice. Learning English. Oh, thank you, Victor. Learning English with Tiffany. All right. Thanks so much. All right. Learning. Uh, listening to music, hearing music. Uh, let's see, singing and learning new languages, watching movies, watching YouTube videos and learning. Uh, then we have reading books. There are adventures and knowledge is free. Very true. Big fan of learning languages, watching YouTube videos. Very nice. Reading, playing soccer. Very nice. Learning English because I want to achieve my goals and you will achieve all of your goals. All right. Playing tennis. Very nice. All right. Painting in watercolor. Very nice. Drawing. Here we go. Very, very nice. All right. Math. Yes. Math is a great subject. All right. Play basketball with your friends. Very nice. All right. Okay. Here we go. Suzette says, I'm not sorry. Liliana says, I have a taste for exercising. I love it because it gives me energy, makes me so happy. And I feel like I'm honoring my body when I'm doing it. Excellent. I like the way you answered that listening to music, movies. All right. So we all have things that we enjoy doing in our free time. Why did I ask you all that question? Because you already are able to give an intermediate level response. You know what you like and you can support it with reasons, right? Why you like doing what you enjoy. The thing is always remember to add a personal story. If you enjoy eating, Tell us a story about when you ate your favorite food for the first time. If you enjoy running, tell us a story about when you ran somewhere very beautiful or you saw something while you were running. If you enjoy reading, tell us about your favorite book, why you like that book, what was going on in the story. So I want you guys to realize when you're trying to speak in English, the issue is not your brain because all of you, each and every one of you, you are all intelligent. It's just a matter of getting all of those thoughts out in English. So again, guys, the formula for giving an advanced level English response is three reasons, details or examples, plus a personal story. Now guys, that's our lesson for today. I'm going to take a few minutes to take some questions from you all, because again, we have this wonderful live class, but as soon as it's over, I have to go to our family meeting. So again, for those that are in the academy, remember, log in, find the Zoom link, okay? Don't share the link. It's only for our family members. So click the link and we're going to be in our family meeting in literally 12 minutes, all right? But until that time, if you all have any questions about what we learned today, please pop them in the comment section. I really, I really hope you all learned a lot. And I hope today's lesson really helped you gain more confidence in your ability to speak in English. Now, remember I said you all that everything we learned today is actually in the ebook, how to pass IELTS speaking, the IELTS speaking exam for my academy students. You don't have to buy the book. The book is already included in your membership. Just log in and you can find the book. If you're not a member, it's okay. You can join later in the future if you want to be with our family, but you can get the book by clicking the link in the description. Um, are there any questions about what we learned today? Any questions? Let me see. Let me see. Uh, thank you so much. I'm glad you like the way I speak. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Uh, how to improve your writing skills. I actually have a video on my YouTube channel, search for how to improve your writing skills and you'll find my video. It's a long video, about 30 minutes, and I teach you how to improve your writing skills. It'll help you a lot. Um, when am I going to tell you a story? So story time is actually on Sundays. I can't tell a story today because I have another family meeting and I have to make sure I get my academy students and we come together. So, uh, story time will be on Sunday. <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining. I really appreciate you. Uh, it's okay. I understand. It's all right. You guys can still enjoy this live class. Uh, I love you guys too. Uh, let's see. 
Thank you so much, y'all. I love you all too. Um, it is truly my pleasure to teach you all. I'm so happy that you guys enjoy this class. Any questions, you all? Any questions before we end our class for today? Let me see. Could I personalize story in the IELTS test? Um, yes, it all depends on the questions they asked you. Again, if you're preparing for the IELTS test, you need to get this ebook right now because I only gave you all two question examples, but the ebook has a ton of other examples plus worksheets to help you develop your ideas. So if you are preparing for the IELTS speaking test, you need to get the ebook right now. Click the link in the description. All right. Okay. Any questions, any questions for me, any questions, let me go all the way to the bottom. All right. I love you all too. I love you all too. Thank you again, guys, so much for joining me. Again, remember, uh, this video is going to come down, but it's going to be available in the Academy. So if you're not a student in my Academy, go to www.letsjumprightin.com. Let me type it again for you all. Let's jump right in.com and you can join us. Um, let me see. Someone asked a question. Hold on one second. There's a question. Uh, I did learn a lot with you with your tips because you're always teaching us how to connect every part of our life. Thank you. My pleasure, Luis. Honestly, it's my pleasure. Javier says, what's your motivation for teaching? So Javier, honestly, actually, I have my story on the website. You guys can read it. But my motivation is literally you all. I literally am happy to help you all. My goal is to help 1 billion students. So I have a lot more students to help. But my motivation is helping other people just like you gain confidence because I know the power of English and how it can change a person's life. So my motivation is you all. I love helping people. I love helping you guys be excited and uh, ready and willing and eager to learn English. So you are my motivation, honestly. All right, let's see. Let's see. Today I don't. Someone asked the question. All right. Can I speak English in one month? No. <laughs> You can't speak it in one month. Uh, it took me two years to learn Korean. If you work hard, you can learn English, but it takes dedication. Nothing is easy, but if you're dedicated, you can definitely do it. How can you join me? Uh, yes, go to www.letsjumprightin.com. You know my phrase, let's jump right in. Go to letsjumprightin.com and you can join my academy. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Let's see. Let's see. All right. Well, everyone, again, I, I want to thank you all for joining me for today's live. I always enjoy teaching you all, always. Uh, someone said, waiting for story time. Uh, who is that, Darko? <laughs> um, yes, uh, am I a singer? No, I love to sing, though, but I'm not a singer. Um, yes, let's see. I'm looking at the time. I don't think I'll be able to tell a story today. I'll tell it on Sunday though, because I have to make sure I go and I prepare for our family meeting. So again, if you guys right now, we're just speaking like this and you're typing, but if you want to actually see me on a zoom call once a month, we have a family meeting for all the members of my Academy. They're able to join the family meeting, which starts in eight minutes. Um, please join us. We would love to see you there. I'm so glad you guys were here. Nicole says, why did you learn Korean teacher Tiff and why, and do you have any skills? So I learned Korean because I was living in Korea and I believed it was important for me to learn their language because I was in their country and I wanted to understand more about Korean people. So I did it because I wanted to understand Koreans more and I love it. Uh, as far as learning Korean, um, my advice is to watch lots of dramas and also to talk as much as possible with Korean people. That will help a lot. Yeah. Uh, she can also try talk to me in Korean.com. That's a very good website. Very good website. All right, everyone. Thank you again for joining. I'm going to go and head to our family meeting again. If you're in the Academy, I'll see you very soon and we'll have our meeting for this month. Everyone else, thank you so much for joining me this evening. I really, really appreciate you all. Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again for joining. Love you all lots. Talk to you later. Bye, everyone. <laughs>